Hello there. Yeah. Just one second, let me just grab the notes. It's the... Yeah. So you... You've been here three times before, I believe. Well, this is your third visit. Your first one was a light test. And your second was for a contact lens. Yeah? Okay, great. Just so I can be sure for the uh, records. We're back to doing everything on paper today. The computers are down, unfortunately, and the uh, technician isn't able to come and fix them until later on tomorrow. It's a bit tricky for us, but we've just got to get on with it. We'll be fine with paper. People used to it before, didn't they? So, I'm going to just have to ask you a few questions. I'm not sure if you've had a follow-up from a different ophthalmologist before. No, not even a different place. Ah, uh, well, here we go. The questions are very straightforward and very simple. First of all, can I just check your address so you can have your postcode, please? Yeah, that corrects. And you haven't moved? No? Okay, perfect. And your emergency contact number, please? Perfect. Right, so, have you been experiencing any headaches? You have. Okay, and what area of the head? Near the front of your head? Here? Or to the back of your head? To the side? Mm, okay, so above the, the eye area here. Okay. Anesthesia due to um, excessive computer work or watching TV? No, you've cut down. Okay, good idea. Very busy lifestyles, don't need the TV today. Also, I apologise for any loud noises, there's construction work going on. Yeah, it makes it difficult for us, but it's okay. Um, these headaches, are they constant or do they uh, occur at certain times or after you do something so driving at night is a real problem okay and is this when wearing contacts glasses or both okay so it's less with the glasses i believe we put a tint on for you last time didn't we or did a tint Ah, okay. So the contact lens is. Hmm. Yeah, see, that's because whereas we can tint glasses, it's not possible to tint the lens for contact. Okay, so. Possibly the answer to that would be that you try to avoid contact lens uh, use at night, or you could get. Um, we do them here. We do a kind of an extremely pale sunglass, except you'd use it for the glare and etc. of driving at night time for headlights. It's very, very pale, so it wouldn't affect your visibility. No. We have them grey or beige as your usual sunglass colour. Okay, so if I write that here and we can look at them, um, or should we do that for your contact appointment? We'll, so what we'll do is we'll get you to wear contacts in, and then we will look at the glasses with you. Yeah, with you wearing contacts. Okay, I'll write that down here as a note as well. No, you'll see the same person every time. I believe I saw you the past two visits. Yeah, you'll see me next time as well. Unless you request someone else, that is. So, this test isn't as, uh, 
difficult, I guess, isn't as harsh on your eyes as the previous test for um, when we first looked at your eyes to test the sensitivity to light. It's just as it's a checkup, you'll just be up. I will sorry, will be asking you to uh, identify colours and possibly read some things in low light situations. Um, I will do a test, I'll need you to follow my finger, uh, I'll need to check the pupil dilation, yeah, and just overall the basic things. Uh, there probably won't be much identification of objects in low light, although depending on the results of your other tests it will decide what I do. It's very tricky. Um, eyes because obviously I rely on you telling me what you can see and what you can't see and what you struggle with so you know the drill okay so what I'm going to do is first of all just overall um, you need to come closer to you look at your eyes and just uh, straight ahead towards this here And have you been experiencing any dryness of your eyes? Or any discomfort? Let's find a blink for me please. Okay, some people don't blink fully. It's quite uh, difficult to pick up usually unless you're quite close. But the eye only partially closes, but you're fine still. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn out the light. So just excuse me. One second. So as you can see it's now a bit darker and I again have the orange light and a white light so I'm going to use the white light first so look towards my finger for me please you can see my finger okay and I'm going to come in with the white light now So what I'm looking for when I do this is just any abnormalities in the eye itself. Can you look at my finger for me please? Mm -hmm. And I need you to tell me if it becomes too uncomfortable for you. Obviously we don't want to worsen the situation. It's very bright, I'm sorry. But it does need to be done. So, I'm now going to look into your other eye. Again, it might be a bit uncomfortable. We need to ensure that your eyes are healthy. So you look at my finger for me please. Just keep looking at my finger and feel free to blink. I noticed you didn't blink on the last one. Maybe people struggle with that. see so far everything is fine how are your eyes feeling yeah so you mentioned that driving uh, in the dark causes discomfort is that because of headlights okay so you struggle to I understand yeah so when you're driving and the oncoming traffic Okay, which is white lights. I think that's what we discovered last time was the problem. Yeah, the notes aren't all that helpful and because the computer systems are down I'm relying on paper at the moment. Uh, 
so now I'm going to use the the orange light because this is far um, gentler gentler on the eyes. I'm going to twist my finger underneath this. Staring at my finger, try not to blink for me this time. Mm, hold on, keep going, keep going. No blink. Okay, great. Now that way. Where this keeps getting caught in the way. Annie, could you look up for me, please? Perfect, thank you. And now look down for me. And this is just so I can check the health of. And now that side blinks. Mm. And the other side. Thank you. And now back to center. Mm. I'll let you relax for a second. Okay, and I need to do the other eye. So I'm going to look at my finger for me, please. And is the discomfort both eyes? Do you find one side of your head hurts more than the other when you have a headache or you have eye strain in one particular eye more often? No, it's about the same. Okay, even just the slightest amount makes a difference. So just be sure to tell me if and when I'm doing one it hurts more uncomfortable than the other. And now I'm going to ask you to look up for me please. Mm -hmm. And now down for me please. To blink. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I know it can be difficult. And now to the side for me, towards your nose. And now away, please. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So I'm going to put the light on again quickly. I just adjust your head to. than your central to me. Just right there now. So now I'm going to ask you to identify the colour of three small objects and one large object. 
first time we will do is in this light and the next will be in low light conditions and then I'm going to add the dot lights to them okay so what colour is this for me please? yellow and is that a pale yellow or a dark vibrant yellow? Okay. this one? purple and what kind of shade would you say? And now this one. Well done. So, the next thing I want you to identify, I could not find the small tub on my face. So I've had to do some searching and I found something. So what colour is this? Pink, yeah. And would you say that it's vibrant or pale? So again, I'm going to turn the light off and I'm going to test them again. Okay. Back to your darkness. Just let your eyes adjust for a second. Okay. So, can you see this colour for me? Well done, purple. This one? And this one for me. So, were they the same except everything was darker or did they look different entirely? Obviously they weren't entirely different because you got them stuck. But was it obvious that they were the same colour basically? It was. Good. So I'll make the hair. And then... the glasses here and I'm going to ask you to pop them on because obviously this is low light conditions I want to check but with thank you with these you will not, we won't put them on properly we'll just hold them up to your eye for a second okay so and hold them still for you. I've lost the torch. Here we go. So it might look a bit weird because you're going to have the reflection of two. So I want to check that the eye reacts in the same way with the uh, tinted lens as it does so it's not stopping too much light from going through. Now this one is the one that might make you uncomfortable slightly. So just prepare. Okay, so is it better when I shine the more light directly into your eye? Don't worry, it doesn't harm your eye. With your glasses or without your glasses? So with your glasses. Without your glasses. I'm just going to them slightly because it's probably really obvious under the light. Dust collects on them very easily. Right now. So, we'll do that one more time. Sorry. I didn't mean to hit you in the face. With your glasses? Or without your glasses? With the glasses? Or without the glasses? Still with. That's great. Obviously both are uncomfortable, but as long as it's not as bad, because otherwise there'd be no point in the tint. So we can just adjust the top of my head and so that's perfect. Mm. I'll just I need to take note of that so. Second, so 
so now I need you to follow the light for me. I use the orange light so it's not as harsh but this is just to check that your eyes are still working at the same pace that one of them is not easier. I will also have to do the same test when you come back for the contacts so the eye tests themselves are pretty repetitive but I guess that's what you get when you're gifted with bad vision so just break the eyes, follow the light for me please so I'm going to go to the side first Can you cover your right eye for me, please? Again, uncover it. Cover your left eye, please. both eyes uncovered for me please and I'm going to come in towards your face and then move back out again and if you can just focus on the light and move with the light that would be great so focus on the light please I know it's very bright you're doing well So both eyes are perfectly fine with the rate of them. My pen's running out. So now I'm going to turn the light back on and do normal uh, checks with peripheral vision and uh, I rate again. So under low light conditions everything is okay. So now look at both my fingers for me and tell me when they leave your peripheral vision. Okay. And now do they both leave at the same time? Yeah? Okay, great. I'm going to do the same thing. And again. Okay, great. Perfect for you. And now at the same time do they both leave? And now we're going to go diagonal but on the x axis. So, tell me when it leaves your peripheral vision. And it comes back. Okay, great. And now, this way. It leaves. Okay, perfect, thank you. And now, the Okay, great.
do have quite wide peripheral vision. And you know I need you to tell me when the fingers come into peripheral vision. So I only really need one hand at a time to start with. Tell me when you can see it. Great. Perfect. Yeah, brilliant, well done. Okay, good. From diagonal. Diagonal again. Perfect. Oh, I use this one. And then in this angle. Okay, great. So, as I said just now, your peripheral vision is actually quite wide, which is a good thing. But it also makes wearing glasses a bit tricky, doesn't it? Because you have the vision from around the glasses. Do you struggle with that? No? Okay, that's good. So you just keep wearing glasses as usual and you shouldn't have a problem. It's only if we change your um, frame that we'll have to take that into consideration. Okay, so I believe I've done all of the tests. I will um, need to see you also for the contact appointment. Yeah, so obviously book. Uh, with the receptionist out front but do you know roughly when it will be? I know we have uh, numerous appointments free at the moment two weeks time okay so it's just so I know and for that I will need you to bring a pair of contact lenses with you or you can wear them but you also need to be on glasses Mm -hmm. No, you'll be fine driving afterwards. Okay, so I will see you in two weeks. Okay, thank you.